What's going everybody? My name's Chris and welcome to a short let's play called Firewatch. Fire Crotch. That, that's a joke of, from Versus if you guys have Anyways, I've been getting a lot of requests to play this game. It just popped up out of nowhere. I hadn't heard anything about this. Um, I don't know anything. The last I heard is, like, I quickly looked up a spoiler free review before uh, playing this game. And pretty much the main thing that I read was... I can't talk about this game without spoiling it. So, here we go. I have no clue what I'm getting myself into. All I know is this game has just freaking exploded lately, and I don't know anything about it. I just reiterated and kind of said the exact same thing. I, I'm repeating myself. <laughs> See, I thought this was just like a, a simulator of you just walk around, and then you find fire. Like, oh, gotta put it. I thought you were like maybe like a forest ranger or something. But, um... I, maybe that is what I am. I don't know. <laughs> People, I think, I think this is supposed to be like a really good story game. I think. I know it's rather short. I think it's like four and a half hours, I believe. So, uh, you see Julia. Okay, I see Julia. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. Okay, I'll say you're pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. <laughs> you are not. You're a feature hangover. Uh, what? You're probably confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Aw, adorable. That's not really that adorable, actually. It's just, you know. <laughs> Backpack, pick up. Uh, do I have like a fist? Is that a fist? Oh, I do have fists. I'm so angry. All right, I seem to be maybe like a teen, early adult, I guess. All right, just pick up this random <laughs> backpack we found in an elevator. Oh, interesting. The uh, buttons are on a down arrow shape. Does that mean I'm going to hell? Probably not. Um, are we at Julia's place? Can we do anything with the environments? Oh, I could zoom in. Interesting. Truck door get in. Can I do anything else? I have no idea. I'm pressing E to interact, maybe. No. Oh, I thought that was blood at first. Some cleaning supplies. Supplies. If I just walked around here and saw a spoopy, scary skeleton. If there's a freaking Oscar the Grouch in here. Go up. I feel like this is the way to go. Should I get in that truck first? Perhaps I should. Oh, okay, this looks like a loading. A loading screen. Dang, it's bright. Almost as bright as my future. Am I right? Zing! Well, I, uh, watch for fires and stuff. Okay, so in other words, this walk was really pointless. <laughs> Alright, excuse me as I get a little bit acquainted with the game here. Geo ground, I see. Load gear. <laughs> Load gear, more like violently throw everything. Oh, you date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Oh, red means click on, right? You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You, you drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Wow, this guy drinks a lot of alcoholic beverages. She wants to get a dog. So do I. <laughs> the scruffy, undersized beagle. Julie is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Um, well, she really likes the beagle, so let's go for the beagle. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. Aw, you love him too. Forget about the other dog. That's sad to think about the other dog and just there. Oh, this game takes uh, place in the late 70s. You tack out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, uh, a couple of little idiots, that would be pretty good. One, one day, why rush? One day. Oh, one day, as in one day in the future. That'd be pretty good. Sure, why not? Let's have some children. Let's set ourselves up for failure here. I'm sure our wife or our lovely girlfriend or whatever she is now is going to die tragically. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. 
That was so violent. What if the dang thing fell right off? Am I at work now? Am I at torque? Alright. Throw a fair trailhead. Do not forget to check in. No fireworks. Uh, I was recommended for inexperienced hikers. There's a primitive backcountry trail. Okay, what do we got for the map here? Okay, just the map. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be visiting some of these locations or something. The screen seems to be a bit blurry. <gasps> Ranger Rick! Fire Danger! Oh my good lord! Ex ex extreme! Good lord! Alright, we're gonna be fighting some fires after all, maybe. But let's, uh. Look at that leaf! That leaf could be a fire for all I know. A fire in disguise. Look at all these rocks. Can you catch on fire rocks? Are you the fire? No, it is not. Alright. Actually, come to think of it. Aw, oh, there's no picture of fire on the board. I was gonna stare at it and say I'm watching the fire because. Haha! <laughs> jokes. <laughs> was this a fire at some point? Oh, never mind. Just. Was this a fire? These could be ashes I'm standing on, or they could just be rock rubble. Probably what it is. Oh no, it's nighttime! Curses! I'm trapped outside! 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call you, right? About getting... You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Uh... Yeah. Let's ignore her. <clears throat> you don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel so guilty for being so angry. I wasn't angry! I ignored her! And ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pillow of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plans from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret. <laughs> I guess I'll pose like He-Man? <laughs> you look awesome. <laughs> Am I just like an adventure or something? Am I just go on adventures without her? Oh, I did the game just saved. Maybe I'm not Ranger Rick. Oh man, that oh that's a very sharp looking tree. Dang, you guys see those trees just render in? <gasps> I found the fire! It's right there! We are watching it very closely <laughs> with my binocular eyes. Let's see. Two forks, I got tire. Eight more miles still. Good lord, that's a long walk, and it's nighttime. I better hurry up. Spacebar, climb over obstacles. Bam! Yep, that is a giant fireball, all right? 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. That's not good. Bucket gets kicked. B -b -b -ah, fuck the dog! Julia yells. Um, she gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. You scare him away. You beat the goddamn thing. Yeah, let's 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 punch him in the face. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks you to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, <laughs> and the game's like, no, you made a bad decision. Day four. Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Consider not taking the job. Agree if she commits, commutes back. For, aww. I guess we'll go with this one. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Well, that sucks. She was sent home from Yale and paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. You don't remember she had happily loaned them to her just two days prior. Oh. She was found crying sort of, oh, she ain't Alzheimer's. You say that, maybe you guys should talk talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget it. Uh, let's talk to someone. Seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, so we're worried about her. Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She is 41. We both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh, that's sad. I knew it! I knew something sad was gonna happen! I gosh dang knew it! Uh, can I move? No. Jeez, man, your wife's going crazy and you're just out here camping by yourself? Why don't you bring your wife? Oh, I'm married now. 
That is a penis. Okay. Oh no, I didn't get to read that. What? I didn't have time. Pokemon is getting older. Julia comments that it is kind of nice because she gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to university. Jake wants to get it. Okay. Oh, I see. Dog isn't destroying crap around the house anymore. 1987, Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Uh, some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and unborn children, little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family that are crush and begin to make trips to and from their their home in Australia. Good lord, to visit her. For a while, your friends come by uh, with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You saw the background's all scary colors. Uh, bad things are about to happen. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia can live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her to full-time... Ah, see, if we put her in care, then she could actually get the need, the care she needs. I mean, following Julie around the house, you count the seconds between the two weekly... Like, that sounds... It sounds like I don't even want her around anymore. Your turn to take care of her by yourself. Take care of her by herself. See what happens. As we go on our freaking hikes and just leave her be... Am I walking again? Uh, which way do I want to go? No, we will not go downhill. We are going uphill. We will take the path less beaten or something. Hey, this is a pretty game. A very pretty game. I'm sure it doesn't matter which way I go. Oh man, this reminds me of where I used to live. Oh wait, oh is this it? That judge, ooh god, what, a, oh no, what, a, what, what just happened? I'm stuck. Oh, it's a bridge. <laughs> oh, I was not stuck. I was just moving really slow. Is there supposed to be water in this? I think there should be like a waterfall or something. Why is there like a blue glow over there? Blue glow? What are you doing, blue glow? glow? Uh, it is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad or like she's... when Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter, drinking then too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time the first time you do it, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom, you trust that she sleeps. No, don't put a chair in front of the bedroom door. <laughs> Screw that. You go out to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl S Street. It's nice. I was going to say like Saint for some reason. It's nice, sir. Over time, you tell, your, you tell Sheila. Oh, boy. The bartender, everything, it's a huge weight off. You're home in bed by 1 a.m. a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989, one night you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point .10, you were taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. They tell Julia, They uh, then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by, summer's coming up, and you see an ad for in the paper for a job. You take it. Oh, is the actual game starting now? I'm assuming this is just the intro to the game. And then, you know, maybe if stuff happens. Enter the lookout. Oh, I see. So now I become Ranger. Wow, look at this. Like, so much merch. Merch and blur. Well, so far this game, you see, it doesn't really seem to have any, like, bonus stuff. So, I, it makes the most sense just to kind of push forward a little bit, I think. If I start coming across extra stuff, then I'll closely examine stuff better. But until then, let's go up this tower, see what we can see. With our beautiful blue eyes. This game is really pretty, though. Oh, saw a light in there. Is that another watchtower? Thoroughfare lookout. I wonder if he'll be over there at some point. That is very cool. 
Imagine this being your job. You just have to worry about like maybe bears coming up or some crap. Turn off turn on the power, okay. Hello. Yeah, oh nice, nice relaxing. Oh, hello, that's two like... forks tower. Oh hello. Hello. Do I have a voice? I hope I'm not a silent protagonist. Hold left shift activate it. What? 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 I, I see the mouse up and down and it's like the audio. But I'm, I'm doing that. It's not, why isn't it working? Oh, there, I got a scroll! I see. Release option. Oh, I see. Hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Hey yeah, there, that's Delilah. what the guy said on the phone. <laughs> this is so, awkward. what's wrong with you? Excuse me? Look at his nails. I'll take this that's... job to get away from something. So what's wrong? I wouldn't. What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then can I what, sleep forever? <laughs> sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh, you've killed three ex-husbands. You're rambling against your mom. No way back home could stand you. Um. Oh crap! Oh, we got a timer. Okay. Um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. Oh. You come out here and it really grinds her gears, and you love it. Can I sleep now? <laughs> well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly and bed? Arms. Me. I'm going now. <laughs> just a second. Now it's my turn. Okay. Good night. Bye. <laughs> See, I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? <laughs> Good night. Supplies Good for night. two forks. Welcome to the job. Well, that was surprisingly really uplifting and funny, considering what just happened. Day one. Uh, is there a way to pause this game? Because this would be a good time to uh, end the episode. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, it looks uh, like morning there's still to me. a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this episode. This is just being a little bit of an introduction. Oh, I see. I had there's boards all over the place. Eh, we made it kind of a homey. Thank you all for watching. I will talk to you guys next time, where we will answer this radio call and we will start our lovely, lovely day. Can I read this? Oh, I can. Okay, I'll also read that next time. Bye!